A vastly underutilized feature of Windows 10 is Snap Assist, or what some refer to as splitting the screen. This provides a quick and easy way to arrange your windows on your screen or your screens and as a result boost your productivity. In this video, we are going to look at how you can change the settings for this wonderful feature, how to snap windows with your mouse, how to snap windows with your keyboard, and lastly we're going to look at how to use Snap Assist itself. Alrighty, first let's have a look how we turn this feature on or off. By default it should be on in Windows 10. So to get to the setting, click on Start, go into Settings. Once you're in Settings, click on System, and on the left hand side look for Multitasking. Once you've found that, click on it, and here's your Snap Assist settings. To turn it on or off, it's a simple setting at the top here. There's three options that you can check or uncheck. The first is when I snap a window, automatically size it to fill available space. If this setting is disabled, when you have snapped and resized one window, subsequent windows will snap to their default half or quarter screen and may overlap existing windows and or possibly leave a gap. So generally you'd want this setting turned on. The second setting here, when I snap a window, show what I can snap next to it, is basically the Snap Assist feature, and it shows you a thumbnail view of all available windows that could fill the available space on your screen. Again, this is a setting that I generally leave on as well. The third and final option for Snap Assist is when I resize a snapped window, simultaneously resize any adjacent snapped windows. If you disable this option, you'll need to resize your windows manually. So generally, again, leave that on. But those are the settings for Snap Assist, and once you've dealt with this, let's have a look at what Snap Assist does on your screen or how it could benefit your productivity. Okay, I've opened up four applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Publisher that you see on my screen here. Now, the way Snap Assist works with a mouse is you simply click on the taskbar or the toolbar at the top of the active window, and you drag the window off to the side of your screen. As soon as you hit the far right, you can see the outline of the window will fill up the right hand side of the screen. Same thing if you drag it over to the left hand side, it'll fill up the left hand side. If you move your mouse to the top left corner, as soon as you hit that corner, you'll see the window will automatically resize to fill the top corner of the screen. And the same thing is applicable for all four corners of your screen. Just make sure you move your mouse right into the corner as you can see on the screen right now. If you're a little bit down, it'll fill up half the screen, so you're just gonna move it up a bit to fill up that. And if you move it to the top of your screen, you can see it'll fill up the whole screen. You can see the outline border for that particular window. And if I release the mouse at any point here, let's just move it into the top corner. And there we go. We have the window filling up the top corner of the screen. Okay, you've seen what snapping with the mouse is. But personally, I prefer to snap things with the keyboard. So let's open up the next window here, which is Excel. If I click and hold on my Windows key, and then we start using the arrow keys on your keyboard. If I use the right arrow key, or sorry, the left arrow key, you see the window fills in the left-hand side of the screen. If I use my up arrow key now once, my finger's still pressed and held down the on the Windows key, press the up arrow once, you'll see it will fill the left top quarter of the screen. If I keep my finger pressed down on the Windows key, and I press the right key now, you'll see it will fill up the right quarter. If I press the down arrow, half the screen. If I press the down arrow again, quarter. If I press the down arrow again, it actually minimizes that particular window to the bottom of the taskbar. And if I press up, you can see it comes back up. Left arrow, up arrow, up arrow, and up arrow one more time will fill up the entire screen. And if you are at a full screen and you press your down arrow once while still holding down the Windows key, it puts it back to the windowed version, uh, view of your particular program that you had before you started doing this. So whichever one of these suits your needs, you can certainly do that. If we have a look at PowerPoint now, for example, I can press left and down to fill up that, and then with Publisher, right and down to fill up that part of the screen works really well with the keyboard, and which is why I prefer that to the mouse, because sometimes with a mouse, you end up fiddling around in the corner trying to get your mouse in the right position, and you just basically waste time, and I like things to be quick and easy. Another aspect to the snapping feature is Snap Assist. This is really relevant if you have multiple windows that you want to resize, or possibly choose without having to manually go through each window. So let's just minimize a few of these windows, and I'll show you what I'm getting at. 
Okay, so say we have Excel right now. We're going to put this on the left-hand side of our screen. As soon as we release the mouse, or if you're using the Windows left arrow combination and you release the Windows key, you'll get the three options of any open windows that you currently have to fill in the remaining space. And this is what Snap Assist is. It'll basically fill up the entire remaining space with the window that you choose. So let's say we choose Microsoft Word at this point. As you can see, it filled up the entire right-hand side of the screen. And then another aspect of Snap Assist is if you move your mouse right between these two windows, you will see a scroll bar comes up. And if you grab this bar, it turns into black and you can move it to the left and you'll see your windows will resize together. So now you can manually change one window, but you're actually changing two at the same time. So if you have a really wide screen, this is especially handy and useful if you want to resize one window to take up more of the screen than the other window, such as using Explorer. And when you release the, the button, it puts it back to where it was. But here's something I don't like about this. Let's just take our windows again, and we'll put this into the corner configuration. Already, now we've got it resized this way. The one thing I don't like about this is when you're in the two by two configuration, as you can see here, quarters on the screen, it doesn't give you the option to resize any of the windows. That would have been especially useful if Microsoft had added that, and I'm hoping that'll come in a future release of Windows 10. But as of as it is right now, it only works if you've got your windows actually in half screen mode rather than the two by two configuration, which is basically the quarters. So hopefully this has been of use to you and please do stay tuned for the next video because on the next video that I'm going to deal with, I'm going to have a look at virtual desktops and how you can move these windows between virtual desktops to really clean up your working environment. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And until next time, see you later.